hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video so today we are back with a, another vlog so i'm going to be vlogging a little bit this weekend i'm not too sure what it is that i'm going to be getting up to but i just thought i would take you guys along with me but just before we do get into this video i just wanted to mention a couple of things with what is going on in the world right now I've taken the time over the past couple of weeks to be able to educate myself and I will continue to do so. Um, but I also just didn't feel like it was right to just jump on here and just act like nothing else in the world is going on. I wanted to mention something because I do feel like it has also been affecting me and I've not been able to stop thinking about it and thinking about what on earth is going on right now i don't have many words but what i will say is how dare someone's basic rights and basic needs be taken away from them for example their homes their water their electricities their families and i do speak about this quite often on my channel but we all need to realize how lucky we actually are we don't realize how lucky we are to have however many meals a day never mind just one meal a day a warm bed to sleep in at night and to even be able to sleep through the night like we should be so so grateful for those things that we see as small things but to others like they are such big things and we just need to be grateful and appreciate those small things that we do have just imagine being a small child right now having to live through this nightmare because in life, our parents are supposed to be there to be able to protect us and to make us feel safe. And for a lot of those children, their families are being taken away from them. And this is one of the most traumatic things that they will probably ever go through in their lives. And they've not got their parents with them or their families with them to be able to protect them and make them feel safe and to say, it's going to be okay even if it's not going to be okay you just that that's what your mum and dad are there for that's what that's what parents do and so so many children have had that taken away from them and it literally just blows my mind and it just baffles me i'm not posting this video today for a distraction for people because i do think that we should all be aware of what's going on in the world and i do think that we should be educating ourselves consistently i know that during situations like this when there's a lot going on on social media and people just need to find comfort in something i know personally from experience that i like to watch videos and kind of just have a little bit of comfort in something so i hope that this is what you guys can get from this video i also just wanted to say like i'm so grateful for social media right now because without social media i feel like a lot of people wouldn't be aware with what's going on because not everybody watches the news and a lot of people also don't know about a lot of like social media apps and things like that but for like the younger generation to be able to see what's going on and then they can speak about it and spread awareness i feel like social media is great right now for letting everybody know what is actually going on because otherwise i feel like we wouldn't really have any clue if i'm completely honest if you're one of the people that don't really watch the news but yeah i like i said i don't want this video to be a distraction but if you can find comfort in something i want this to be it and if this kind of makes someone feel a little bit better if you can in this horrible horrible situation then i hope it does it's literally making me have a lump in my throat and making me feel like i want to cry but i'm not going to We've got this but yeah until we do no more all we can do is we can pray we can educate ourselves and we can just be spreading awareness for those in need and yeah until we know more and unless there is more that we can do to be able to help those are the things that we can do we need to pray spread awareness and educate ourselves and don't be afraid to be watching the videos that people are posting on socials 
because that's people's reality at the end of the day and i know it's not nice to see but like that's what somebody's having to live through so yeah that's all i'm gonna say i feel like i have rambled on a little bit when i said i didn't have much to say but that's just my thoughts on everything that's going on in the world right now because i feel like it's weighing very very heavy on a lot of people and i've constantly had like a sad feeling in my heart and my tummy this week and i feel like i don't usually not get affected but i don't usually take in things that are going on in the rest of the world and i really should be doing that and we all should be and since i have been doing that i feel like it has affected me a little bit but and but so it should because we should be feeling the pain for these people because we're only feeling an ounce of the pain that they are actually going through right now so yeah that's all i'm gonna say and i will catch up with you all later on when we're going to see some of my family Mwah. should we show the vlog how you can walk <laughs> should we show them how you can walk what do you think should we show everyone how you can walk come on then three, two, three let go one two three Whoa! One, two, three, go! <laughs> Yay! You're so clever. Can you do it back to me, mate? Come on in. Come on in. Oh, clever boy. So we've got Jamaican tonight. We've got jerk chicken, rice and peas, steamed veg. Uh, we've got nachos, steamed veg. What's this called again? Uh, jer uh, fried chicken split. Got more in here. We've got a baby in the corner. Yeah. Got from there. Chips. And my mouth is one? literally watering. Oh. So good. Guys, this is so good. Mm. That was jerk chicken and rice. Let's try the steamed veg. Mm. That is delicious. I don't want my plate to ever end. Mm. Some chips. Suppose you'd be a bit worried. Yum. Where is it, Connor? happy saturday my loves i hope everyone is doing okay it is half 12 we've had a nice slow morning as you can see i just got ready for the day um i forgot to film the first part of me doing my hair and the start of my makeup but you got to see it the end result so today me and my mum are going to go and do a little bit of shopping for the house um 
so I'll bring you along and then I think we're gonna go meet up with my grandma so a nice little family day but yeah I'm, I'm really here for the short hair you know I think I'm still not 100% used to it but it's just a nice change isn't it and it's something that I've never done before so yes anyway we need to get ready to leave I don't actually think we're in any sort of rush um but we'll probably be leaving in like the next hour or something so that means we also need to pick an outfit okay so for today's outfit boys and girls i am thinking i want to do this top because i've still not worn it and it's just really cold today so i just feel like this is the type of vibe that i want i've already got makeup on it and that's just from trying it on look it's still got the label on and everything so i might just see if i can get that bit off with the white cloth the other bit's all right because it'll be kind of fastened up but i don't know if to do jeans or cargos i'm thinking black pants would look the best because my white cargos are so creased right now after being washed and i don't want to iron them do you not think ironing is like the longest job in the world like just uncrease that's why a lot of the time i just straighten things so if you've got like a creased sleeve straighten it gorgeous so let's see i just want to wear like all this knitted stuff because it is honestly that cold so i have these black pull and bear jeans that i always wear i feel like these are my go-to black jeans i do need another pair of black jeans but i'm just struggling to find the ones that i want I did find some out of stock or i have these these could actually look quite nice to be honest do you know like the suit cargo pants that i've got you may have seen these before and then they've got a little slit at the bottom they could be nice or i have these jeans that i've not actually worn in a while i forgot about these the cargo jeans which they could actually be quite nice i'm kind of leaning more towards the jeans because of warmth the other pants are more of like a thinner material and you know, you've just got like a proper chill to your bones because it was like over an hour ago that i got out of the shower the warmth has just left my body or we have these black cargos which are very very creased i need a better wardrobe i have so many clothes and yeah i do sort them out a lot i get rid of a lot but i also like to have options you know i have these cargos but these are way too creased for my liking i've not worn these in ages you've got a little pocket on the side okay there and now okay i'm gonna go and ask my mum which pants she thinks I'm kind of leaning towards the cargo jeans, you know, because I've not worn them in a while. And then I think I will just wear my Ugg Tasman's warmth, you know. And then I am going to need a coat as well. That's how cold I am. Fully freezing. Okay, my mum said the plainer pants because there's a lot going on with the top. And she said don't be lazy and to iron the cargos. So, we're going for the black zara cargos do you know what this has been on here for like however long i've had these pants probably coming up to a year and i've still not cut it off a little string thing but these are my favorite pair of cargos they're probably my favorite pair of pants i wear them all the time okay i am going to quickly iron them and then i will show you the finished look okay we are are ready do you know what i've noticed that i always say a lot of the time when i'm like starting off to say something or i go so I go so or okay so do you know what i mean and i always notice so i try to clip it out in videos a lot of the time because it's like girl shut up like it's so annoying saying it all the bloody time anyway thought i'd just show you my cute fit i've still got the makeup on uh, the collar but i just thought just kind of cover it with my hair you know not that deep so oh, my mirror is so disgusting right now i apologize i did actually attempt to clean it the other day but 
you can tell there uh, how awful that went so we have the little i think it's a rugby top i'm not 100 percent irish rugby top on underneath uh, we have the zara black blazer this had just come out of the wash and it was so creased so i had to iron two things when i didn't want to iron any so i feel like it didn't do a great job it didn't i didn't do a great job but it's okay like you can't overly tell and then i have on my black zara cargos and my ug tasmans um, i've just put in these little silver earrings which are from la visa i need to put earrings in my seconds why why am i not doing that anyway and then i'm just going to use my little french connection bag i've literally just remembered i've not even got my purse or anything in here i need to put it in i was just saying like yeah i'm ready to go not without your purse honey yeah this is the vibes for today it feels nice to be back vlogging i can't lie um but yes these are today's vibes look who's joined us on our date rowan we went for a roast sandwich i thought it was going to be like an actual roast dinner but it's just roast beef and gravy george has got chicken nuggets chips and gravy and now here's here's the main man hello i'm looking a little bit disheveled right now am i in focus not too sure it's a little bit dark i'm just feeding rowan his bottle so it's just a little bit hard doing this with one hand but we are on our way it's about is it about half five mom yeah and oh are you making the lighting better for me yeah. oh she's just opened the roof to make the lighting better thanks honey uh so we're just gonna go and do a little bit of shopping probably for like an hour or so because we'll need to get rowan home so we can get ready for bed and stuff because um someone that works with me and my brother has just had a baby which is so exciting they had a baby girl so we're gonna go and have a nosy because i just wanted to make them a little hamper up from us just to say congratulations so we're just gonna get a few essentials for everyone in the family they've got a little boy as well so we don't want to leave him out some stuff for the mum and dad as well and yeah i do a little haul when i'm home of what i end up choosing but i'm very excited there's a tk max set and they always have really really cute stuff for baby girls so i'm excited to go and have a look nothing better than baby shopping is the mum no. love baby shopping newness. newness a brand new amazing life in this world and rowan's actually almost one can you believe it like feels like yesterday me and meg were just doing baby shopping for him and now you're already nearly one years old aren't you one. yeah what <laughs> you want more milk you want more <laughs> he can feed himself but i've talked to him with his blanket to keep him warm oh, have a nap yeah, he's laughing at me. <laughs> oh dear, Nana, got a bad cough. Are you just messing now? Okay. So yes, Meg is at her house. Well, Meg and Andrea are at their house doing some work on it. Um, and yeah, that is the update for now, isn't it, honey? Will we show everyone what we get when we go shopping? The new baby girl yeah okay i see i just did it there i said okay again i need to stop what is on my screen anyway i am home and i thought i would just show you the bits that i picked up for our friends that have just had a baby now we don't pers well me personally i don't know the mum so i couldn't get her like pajamas or like a dressing gown and stuff like that because i don't know her size and we wanted all the presents to be a surprise so we couldn't ask the dad so i just kind of did what i could to get bits to also make her feel good within herself because i know that meg was very very grateful for things like that when she had just had 
rowing so let's go through i have gone a little bit crazy but this is off me and my brother and yeah i just love spoiling people and just giving them things to make them happy it's like it's not like overly crazy bits but it's it's necessities like it's stuff that you would need after you've having a bit had a baby right first of all we'll start off with poundland so i got a little packet of newborn nappies new baby nappies this is only a small one i would have got a bigger one but this was all that they had but i might still get more because i feel like you can never have enough nappies these wipes i know people only like to use specific wipes but these are like these are help to prevent irritation and that was kind of the only thing that i was moving towards she might not she might not want to use them but they can always come in handy and be used to something else so baby wipes and then they've got a little boy as well so i picked up this little like dumper wagon for him i also picked him up this little one this one i think he's like three or four or something um but this one is for like younger babies but i think that he'll like this too this is just like another little digger and then whatever that is like a trailer um pick them up some chocolates got them some chili coated peanuts don't know whether they'll like these but these are amazing so i thought to snack on at my delicious i got them some biscuits that they can have with a brew i got some more biscuits that they can have with a brew and then i also got this for the mum because connor said this is what she likes to drink i do need to get the dad his but they didn't have it where i was so vodka for the mom and then i also just picked her up some hair clips i know that it's handy just being able to clip your hair up and get it out of the way i got some baby cotton wool i got some tamfastic some haribo star mix some mom joysticks and um, i got her three different face masks so I got her super hydrating and glow reviving, super hydrating and replumping, super hydrating and anti-fatigue. I just got the Garnier ones. I don't think I've ever used them, but I've seen people use them and they're meant to be really good. I got them some paracetamol and ibuprofen. I got some skips for the little boy. And I also got some sensations one of the best crisps ever and then i got a little pot of pseudo cream but like the nappies i might go and get a bigger one because i feel like you can never have enough pseudo cream as we figured out living with a baby for almost the past year and then i also got this as well i need to get like a little basket to put it all in so i got this little bow to go onto it and then i also got the mum some cozy socks the socks were from next they just feel amazing like I want to put them on right now and then i also got her a little roll-on deodorant i know meg was finding these handier when she had rowan because obviously you shouldn't be spraying stuff when you're in a room with a baby and if you're trying to get ready quick roll-on is the go-to um and then also picks her up a little vaseline just to keep her lips hydrated and then just got this card from next as well which says welcome little one how cute is that <gasps> i love it and then popped into tk maxx these were the only bags that they had so that's why i got this and i picked up this for us so this is a hair treatment um i've never heard of this brand but i feel like they always have really really good hidden gems in tk maxx so this is for damage recovery, deep conditioning treatment for damaged hair and split ends. Don't know whether she would be able to find time to do that with a newborn baby, but it's there if she can. And then I also got this. I thought this sounded really, really nice. Vitamin C and collagen brightening and firming eye cream. I feel like that just sounds lovely. And the packaging, stunning. 
I don't know if I've already mentioned, but they've had a baby girl. Picked up this little set. So long sleeve, comes with a little pair of leggings and then a little headband. I just thought that was so cute and I feel like it's quite neutral. So like it's safer, like it can fit with a lot of people's vibe, depending on how it is that you would like to dress your baby. And then, you're not ready for this. This is so cute. I picked up, obviously it's freezing now. They're going to need some cozy stuff for the little baby. I got her this little knitted cardigan, which is just like really fluffy. And then it has a hood like this. And let me just show you how cute the hanger is that it comes with. Look at the hanger. It's so cute. and It's got a little bow on it. Like that's just the cutest thing in the world. And yeah, I think there's everything that I picked up. Okay, I am now in bed now, as you can tell, in my dressing gown because it is so cold tonight. Nice and cosy. But yeah, I just wanted to end this video here um, because it is getting quite long now. <laughs> but I do hope that you guys did all enjoy. And like I was mentioning at the start of the video, please, please, please do not forget to pray for all of these innocent people in need because they need our prayers more than anything right now. So make sure you are praying and... We are educating ourselves, we are spreading awareness and we're just doing as much as we possibly can. But yeah, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you all have a lovely, lovely week and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.